62 miles of the Thames, from South End up to Teddington, compressed into 385 feet. It's a model built by hydraulics engineers to protect London from future flooding. They're trying to evaluate the two proposals, either to put a barrage or permanent dam across the river, or a barrier with gates that are closed whenever a high tide is expected. Much of London lies below the level of a high tide. If this were to coincide with storm conditions in the estuary, some 50 square miles would be underwater. Of course, there's nothing new in the idea of a barrier. It was first suggested nearly 200 years ago. If it had been followed up then, it would have cost only a fraction of the present estimate, and that's about 40 million pounds. No bottle of vintage port was ever